Hello, my name is Nadja Kadeem. Hello, my name is Thomas Forsyth. Hi, my name is Ryan Marietta. Hi, I'm Julia Mufeo, and this is our joint EET and MTR senior project. We are doing a subsonic open wood point tunnel. The reason a wind tunnel was selected as a senior project was to apply our joint electrical engineering and mechatronics knowledge to learn about a new subject aerodynamics. A wind tunnel is a piece of test equipment that allows researchers to visualize and investigate the effects that wind has on equipment. A particular industry that would be interested in this would be the car manufacturing industry that wants to make the design of their car as aerodynamic as possible to reduce fuel. Using a fan as an output and a P2 wind speed sensor as the input, a feedback loop is established that allows us to control the wind speed inside the tunnel. LabVIEW, a graphical programming language, acts as a project interface and allows us to change the wind speed and observe the effects that wind has on an object. In order to properly quantify the effects that wind has on an object, load cells are attached to the test object so that the forces of drag and lift can be measured. For easier storage and mobility, the tunnel itself is portable as it rides on castable. The wind tunnel system can be split into two sections so that it can be stored neatly and compactly in a space in the lab. The system is powered by a single three-prong electrical outlet so that it can be conveniently and quickly set up to be used. The wind tunnel will be used by the students in the mechatronics and other departments at CalU this project will give students the ability to quickly test out the aerodynamic properties of things that they design, such as something that they printed out with a 3D printer. How a wind tunnel works is by relating a scale model to its full size model counterpart. This is done using Reynolds number or Mach number. For low speed applications, Reynolds number is used. Reynolds number is a dimensionless number that relates various forces. If a scale model and a full-size model have the same Reynolds number, they are dynamically similar. There are five main sections of wind tunnel. The scaling, scaling chamber, the construction coil, testing chamber, and the fusion on the driver section. The purpose of the scaling chamber is to create limited airflow. The purpose of the construction coil is moving large volume of the air through the small Open it. The testing chamber is where the lift and the drag force are measured. The diffuser dispersed air from small to large cross section area. And the finally, the drive system is where the fan is mounted. The load cell is a custom built 3D printed piece designed to be able to change the angle of attack and while also independently measuring the lift and drag. Lift being the force acting against the weight, the test piece, and the drag being the force generated by the resistance the object has against the wind force. Thank, Thank you for listening. listening.